Hi, I'm Gary Ewer. I've just updated my songwriter's checklist, uh, which is something I've had online for quite a number of years now, but I've expanded it. And I've uploaded it today, but I thought I'd just talk for a moment about that checklist and specifically how to use a checklist when when you're a songwriter and you're involved in something creative. Pop songs um, have a lot to do with spontaneity. They have a lot to do with improvisation. And you can come up with ideas um, very quickly. And um, so it sort of makes you wonder, how do I actually use a checklist for something that's a creative process? Uh, first thing I'd say is to use this songwriter's checklist, you don't use it if your song is working well. If, you, if you've written something and it sounds great, you think it sounds great, your friends love it, you do it in concerts, you get a good audience reaction, there's no need to use a checklist for something like that. And, and actually the problem with using a checklist um, when your song sounds great is it starts to put doubt in your mind and starts to make you wonder uh, why is it that the things that I've put in this song, some of them are kind of counterintuitive, it maybe goes against what you might think of as solid songwriting principles, and yet the song just still seems to work. Well, I would say just leave the song alone at that point. You've got a great song, it's time to move on to something else. But I think this checklist works well if you've written something and you feel that there's something wrong, you can't put your finger on it, you, you just feel that it's... Uh, it's not quite what you were hoping for, but you can't identify where the problem is. I think that's when a checklist can work really well. A checklist allows you to slow everything down and, and sort of put a, a magnifying glass on it, um, element by element. And so that's what I would do for songs that don't seem to be working all that well. You know, I would say listen to it a number of times, and each time you listen, focus on the lyric, focus on the melody, focus on the chords and just try to identify those spots where you feel like something just isn't clicking the way you wish it, it did. And then consult the checklist. So in that sense, the checklist is really meant as a way of uh, focusing your thoughts and kind of organizing your thoughts and allowing you to kind of work through the song. And you'll notice that not everything you've written will be on that checklist and, and vice versa, and that's completely fine. As I say, songwriting is a creative process. So I would think within short order, probably uh, within a, a, a two or three listens of your song and looking at that checklist, I think you'll start to get an idea of where you think the problem might be. And then that's the beginning of finding solutions for, for fixing it. So, so you Use the checklist for songs that aren't working, and if, if your song is working, don't use this checklist because it's just going to throw doubt in your mind. Alright, have a good day.